Yes! God bless. God bless there being a demo for this game. Uh, oh. It's a controller game. I gotta update my title real quick. Uh, how tab friendly are you? Okay. This is Paradise Killer. One second. This is where Thick Lady solves crimes. There we go. The menu's a heart. Good sign. Good sign right off the top. I'm gonna max out those graphics. You know it's good when it's all on Ultra already. Good, 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 good. Like what I'm seeing here. Unlimited frames! Ooh, time to restrict it to alpha demo. The demo may contain bugs and unfinished content. Provided a respawn feature and the kids getting stuck. Hold on R down on the D-pad. Thank you for letting me know. The syndicate created the first paradise island to worship their dead alien gods. Guided by leader Malsara, the s Malsara. I don't even know how to say that. The syndicate attempted to resurrect the gods by forcing citizens into psychic worship rituals. However, the worship invites demonic corruption from beyond the stars. The islands always fail. The islands die, and a new paradise island is born. The cycle repeats. Island sequence 13. Lady Love dies. The syndicate's lead investigator is deceived by the goddamned Harmony. She endangered paradise. Her sentence is eternal exile. The island could not be saved. Demonic corruption began to infect the fabric of paradise. The island died. The citizen slaughter ritual took place. Another paradise island failed. The cycle always repeats. Lady Love dies, watched from exile in the idle lands as each island was birthed and died. Each iteration got closer to perfection. Demonic corruption events decreased. Island 24 was almost perfect until Henry Davidson, a lowly citizen, got too close to the gods. He allowed demons to flood the island. Citizens were once again slaughtered, and the Council began their meditation to end 24 and birth 25. But before they could complete it, Paradise was killed. Oh, jeez. Okay. You can't start putting real photos in your video game. You're gonna... You're gonna make me fall in love. Hmm. Typewriter. Instead of gibberish... Gibberish text blee blee bloops. Yeah, big, big Persona Daganronpa vibes and the UI. Born at the Longest Tower, Britain in AD 1000 under the sign of Kiss Me to the Moon. The Syndicate's lead investigator. Love Dies was exiled to the Idle Lands, and the Paradise Psycho Unit was shut down on Island 13 as punishment for the Damned Harmony incident. There's some there's some lore going on here. It's noir. No, I know. <laughs> I'm saying aesthetically. Like, the UI is not noir. It's the opposite of noir. <laughs> Maybe it's like a LA noir. Well, I guess not only is that a game, but that's also Blade Runner. But I'm just mean like the fact that it's first person, the fact that it's about murder. The big the big lore is something else though. Boy, this is and I mean aesthetically speaking, this is just 100% synth wave. Some also Goichi Suda vibes. A little bit. But I mean, come on. I just mean, like, this UI, come on. Wistful photo obtained. The outside of the Paradise Psycho unit before it was disbanded. The last photo that was taken of me back on Island 13. Fleeting thoughts, lost treasures, the remnants of lives lived, a vignette of another, a window in time. God, the ramping of the music. Ten <laughs> days since you were exiled. I also like that the cursor in the middle is a heart. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can get some contrast on it. God. Nothing says... Nothing says you fuck like a demon like cheetah sheets. 
Or silk sheets with a cheetah cover. Damn. I'm so excited there's lots of tits in this game. Man, speaking of tits, I like... I started watching Altered Carbon again because people said that show was good. And while, don't get me wrong, I'm happy at the just sur absolute surplus of titties. That's not a very good show. Wow, it's bad. Like, <laughs> the writing in it is actually pretty horrible. <laughs> Every scene is like the most... The most cliched thing. And then there's titties, so that's nice. The thing is, like, the thing that gets me about every scene in that entire show is that all the characters say out loud everything they could have otherwise expressed. Like, when, when the, like, hotel owner goes to his weird little cloister of AI hotel owners, they say out loud, Yes, we are the cabal of AI hotel owners and you are not welcome. Like, I'm like, you don't have to say it out loud, man! Trust that somebody who's on the other side of the screen has five intelligence. Oh, anyway, sorry. Oh, the book is decent? Okay. I just... The number of times they, like, literally said out loud exactly what they were doing and who they were. <sighs> anyway, sorry. It's it's good to have on in the background because of all the... I guess... Titties, really. Uh, Red, thank you for the Prime sub. I pushed Humpty, thanks for the resub. Alex, thanks for the Prime sub. Saint of Swole, hello! Uh, thank you for the resub. I got, I got back into the gym today. Did my deadlift sets and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna call it there. I started feeling some, uh, it's like some strain in my lower back. And I got through my sets, but I was like, do I really want to try to, like, front squat and do some other stuff? Hmm. I had to, I had to call it. I love, I love the proliferation of hearts. Everything is hearts. This is good. Exercise for the first time in weeks today, too. Yes! Yes! Oh, my husband read the book and said it was really good. Don't know anything about the show. Yeah. You literally almost said five intelligence. I mean, isn't that good? Can't, can't we just make that okay now? Did a total lab workout and it murdered me? Nice. You're gonna get, those, you're gonna get that six-pack, though. Gamer Goblin, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the blob dance. Shin Uch Jigoth. You can call me Shinji. Nice. Shinji. I'm just here to hang. This dialogue is is very Suda. Of a of a demon who's just there to chill out. Like nothing nothing is nothing is more Suda than a demon with exposed genitals just hanging out. Never said that was a bad thing. Yeah. No. I like a good bit of murder. It's a good time. The best time. I also really, really like that this is first person. Damn! Of course we got synthwave jams playing. Of course we do. Uh, Tykwer, thank you for the sub. Wow. Low poly skulls with like pearlescent textures. Oh, the music's actually just playing through a... Like an exposed speaker. This is like an open air mall in the bougie part of town. Can I see your body if you look down? Unfortunately, no. I cannot experience what it's like to be a just a brick house of a woman. Dulled percolator tank. Coffee doesn't taste the same if you're not working. I don't know how much more suited this game can get. When it's like, when when there starts to be philosophy about coffee, I guess that's even maybe more of a sweary thing, but still. After playing uh, Travis Strikes again, I was like, oh, it seems like, seems like Suda got into food culture. <laughs> He's like putting up ramen reviews and stuff. That is a mocha pot. Ah, okay. I've seen those around, but I've never used one. So, how does that work? Is there like a reservoir of water on the bottom? You put it on the burner and then the water percolates up through the grounds into the top? Katniss, thanks for the sub. You have, in fact, started a hype train. 
suit of vibes and sweary, swe sweary lives. Yeah. What's the Suda thing? Oh, sorry. A Suda 51, or Goichi Suda, is a game developer that has made some of my favorite games. I don't know that he's in this, like, he puts out individual, creatively unique games. Well read book about an ex gangster that decided to become a master of grilled chicken skewers. That sounds like a nice book. Oh, Sweary 51? Gosh. If Suda and Sweary worked on a game together, I don't know that they would get along, but... I'd be hell of an output. I mean, like... Lollipop Chainsaw was basically the dream team. Oh, is that my laptop over there? We got Jump now. Of course, it's like a 1995 Apple II or something. No, an Apple II was like a... a blocky-ass laptop. I can't remember what the, like quintessential chonkity 90s laptop was. Oh, yes! Yes! Did we get... Did we get simulated uh, operating systems? Powerful vibes to use a serif font in an OS. Powerful. May the silent goat walk with you. Ah, dang it. I was hoping there'd be like a whole desktop UI that you'd have to click through. Oh, we got Metal Gear calls now. Lady Love dies. Madness has overtaken the island. The council were murdered as the new island was born. Ooh. This is no joke. Killer tried to take everything from us. The syndicate is about to collapse. Skullgirls looking woman? You mean Lady Love dies? Use Nightmare Computer. Alright. Is that a USB cord? It is! Or it's like it's some kind of cord. God, that's awesome. The Syndicate never upgrades. Okay. Interesting. Oh, all right. Tutorial, you know. That's a neat. That's a neat. That's a neat puzzle. I'm Garrick. Thanks for the reset. Welcome back, Jess. This game is everything I've ever loved in my life. I can't wait to buy it twice. Yeah, might as well. Might as well wish list it now. Oh, Jess, you. Are you? Are you the human alarm clock? <laughs> Stephanie will use me. Or I. Fine. She can use me all she wants. Um, occasionally, I will be the uh, I will be the human alarm clock for Steph. She like starts to nod off. She's like, oh, I gotta be awake at this time. And I'm like, okay. Because yeah, she's she started either sleeping through her alarms or turning them off in her sleep. So sometimes she rely she like be like, make sure that I'm awake. Yeah, apparently Steam is is hard shitting. I think it's because they started their. Uh, there's summer games thing, and there's like tons of demos and a lot of pages to click through. Time to fall into a pit of crime. A leap of faith into the sun-drenched abyss of memories, secrets, and crime. This game has, has just such an, an incredibly powerful vibe. I'm a, I'm I have to have faith that it will hold up through the course of the entire game. Oh, Steam does, Steam does maintenance on Tuesday? Oh, okay. Oh, that's part of the part of it. Whenever I go to visit my boyfriend, he has to be my alarm clock, otherwise I'll just sleep all day. Nice. What 
an amazing way to do, like, late credits. You're doing everything right, video game. Get me with that late title card, you know it's gonna get me. I have zero blood crystals. Not for long. Whoa. Ah, okay, okay. So you have to find, like, translatable bits that then let you, uh, interact with puzzly things. Who was the lady I saw earlier? That's Lady Love Dies. She's our protagonist for this video game. A delicious new premium beer from Crimson Acid and Dead Nebula. Ooh. Ugh. I'm I'm vibing on these images. There was there was a window in like when the PlayStation 1 came out and suddenly you had the storage for like for like full renders um for menus and things like that for full images. It wasn't just like crude squares anymore. And there was a lot of this. A lot of like uh UI and and UX designers just going nuts. Is this Okay, yeah, very, again, very Danganronpa. If you talk to, like, cardboard cutout people. I guess, I guess, uh, Phoenix Wright, to another extent. Also, so there, there's something about this thin serif font. That seems to, that seems to say class in, in Japanese typography. But also this, this font on the right here. This very, like, direct, almost terminal to kind of font. I see all over the place. Shockingly, in a lot of pseudo games. Uh, a lot of Japanese indie games will use that font. And I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the default font that comes in, like, Windows or something? But it's not, it's not this font. It's not neither of these. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, let me to whisper to the moon, then. Search or clear your whispers. Select an item from the list of whispers. Maybe this is like taunt, or sorry, hint. Maybe it's like a hint system. All right. Let me let me just appreciate this character design for a second. Cup of boots, keys, the barcode on the like underarm, which is pretty cool. Although those are there's numbers. It's almost like notches on a on a wall. That shirt is amazing. Nice choker. Damn. Lydia Daybreak. Born in Moana Falls, Kenya in AD 1001, under the sign of Beautiful Spectre. Hmm. Lydia became known as a Titan Killer after she successfully defended a temple complex from three monstrosities born from beyond the stars. So this is this is a really interesting approach to like lore and storytelling. When you set the expectation right away that you're just gonna have to roll with it. That like the game abides by its own logic and you there there will be human elements you can invest into that, that give you a hook of like there is a mystery, the council is dead, here is this island, you have to solve that. Like, those are things that, like, human beings can understand. But when they hit you with stuff like this, it's like, okay, don't... There will be a very clear line between the fantastic of this world and the plot elements you're designed to understand. Or that you should directly relate to. Sam Daybreak? 
Ah, uh, so she's taken then, huh? Meh. I have a feeling that maybe these characters don't necessarily abide too rigidly to uh, monogamy. But that may be a bit of an assumption. I just feel like if, you were, if you're alive for like a thousand years... You and your partner probably have a bit of an understanding at that point. Hmm. The different, I like the different character art for the two different dialogue styles. That's kind of neat. Ah. She is the fast travel. Uh. Holy shit. Right hand drive. <laughs> Man, is that justice? Oh, it's judge. Society needs a form of justice and a syndicate member volunteered. Huh, they believed so deeply in impartial justice that they scrubbed their ego and fused themselves to the island, becoming judge. God damn. It's like this fusion of, of rock and person, except of course the rock is like super polygonal and, and all uh, synth wavy. Why four arms? And four faces? Not blind, but still holding the like Still holding the scales that are not tipped, they're even. So by de-individualizing, this person was able to realize the reality of impartial justice. But they're like, they're doing, they're, it's like the recursive, like anime, hand, like, everything about the body posture says that they're, it's like a mixture of insecurity and ultimate security. The human part of them is, it's like insecure and unsure? I don't know. Judge, jury, and sex executioner. <laughs> That's probably much closer. And the hammer, but it's held loosely. Like the hammer is held loosely, but there's a really tight grip on the scales. A Jojo villain? Yeah, a little bit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
maybe maybe the perfect island is one without a syndicate. Maybe as part of their envisioning of paradise, they had to kill themselves. Maybe. Maybe. Hubris is a large gap in armor. If you're a murder junkie, that's quite the hit. <laughs> Man, well said. Midnight, the holy hour, the hour of weird. This judge is very poetic for being uh, individualized. Or de-individualized. Henry Division? Of course it's Brutalist. Why would any structure in a synthwave paradise not be a giant concrete cube? Crime cannot hide. Crime always wants to be found. The nature of crime is perverse. Interesting, interesting observation. Is the typewriter sound supposed to annoy you? It's, it seems fine for me. I can see how if this is, if this is the sound of talking for the entire game, and the game is a lot of talking, then yeah, I can see it. That's a little loud. Maybe you can uh, change the mix. Looking forward to ReZero Season 2? Um, I didn't get through Season 1. Mostly because I am I was kind of burnt out on on happy shiny anime that have giant dark twists. Also, like, in general, like, Isekai and Groundhog Day stories. I know that anime tends to move in, in these, like, giant waves, but... Uh, no, I haven't tried out uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker yet. A lot of demos out there. Oh, you, you're excited for ReZero Season 2? Yeah, I don't know. I just uh, didn't find a lot of... A lot of motivation to keep watching it after like the fourth or fifth episode. But yeah, I do need to watch Kanasuba. Is Kanasuba? I know I've asked this before, but is Kanasuba dubbed? An investigation into the heart of madness begins. Lady Love dies. Must find the facts and assemble the truth. The road to her truth will be a long one. The journey will be hard. The light of her truth glows dimly, but with facts, it will shine bright. Oh, it is great. Okay. I was trying to trying to think of new new animes to watch while I'm working out. Oh. Man. That's awesome. Okay. I'll slot that in. That that sounds like 
It sounds like a fun ride. I gotta admit, I'm I'm more in the mood for like things that are, are fun and whimsical these days than something like ReZero. Oh wow. Hey there's Shinji. What's up, my man? Just hanging out. <laughs> Not people, rich people. Screw them. Nice, soulless bastards. <sighs> Our bitches, maybe? Buttholes. That's probably what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me know about that. Sweet, sweet money. Oh, here it is. Bloop. All right. Oh, okay. Ah, that's how you, uh... Okay. Starlight skin unlocked. Sorry, what? Oh, for your laptop? Ah. Go must be seen. Apply your mark to everything you own. Generation Remix will never die. I like it. Obtained a highball named after a district on one of the old islands. It was rife with unexplained crime before the Heavenly Crisis Agency determined the demonic cause. Its flavor changes each island in line with a new whiskey blend. Huh. What the? Is that a drunk robot? Oh my god, Dead Nebula, more refreshing than a cosmic apocalypse. It may have been millennia ago, but we were glad to facilitate so many evenings staring out at an endless sea with a few beers and only your swirling unspoken thoughts for company. This is the this is the future we could we could have as long as we give every last bit of personal data we have to drink manufacturers. Also, different font for uh, Dead Nebula. Speaks as we. Sanity. Ah.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, I don't know. It, it occurs to me that, like... As much as, as much as people associate PC with, like, the highest end tech specs of, like, oh, the best frame rates, the highest resolutions. To me, this... That's only a, that's only a, like, a byproduct of what the PC is actually great at, which is experimentation. And this is kind of more evidence of that. You don't really get games like this. I mean, you, you get them later on other platforms, but that's if they do well on PC first. And make some money and capture a publisher's, uh, ca capture a publisher's attentions. Ah, uh, PKONet, thanks for gifting out five subs. <laughs> Thank you, not be ad. Appreciate that. I'm Garrick, thanks for the sub. Oh, on Deadpool, good to see you. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Katniss, thanks for the resub. Tykwer, good to see you again. Can you use keyboard and mouse in this? Sorry. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I was just using controller um, because, I don't know, games, games like this where I don't have to, like, headshot anything, I feel like controllers is the better aspect. What's the objective of the game? Okay, well, you play as a, like... Can you just jump off? I think you can. Ooh. Oh! Okay, that's right. There's no fall damage. They said that. Uh, you play as a kind of celestial detective, and you have to, uh... <sighs> have to solve why the council died, who is, I guess, a collection of gods that imagines... A... I don't know. <laughs> it's a... It's a murder mystery game. We'll say that. I guess he was right. Oh. Oh, do we have hot anime boys? Martial guard. Is this where I was supposed to go? Oh, goodness. She got a pupper? And like a... Uh, is she an architect? Why does she have... She has like a protractor and a ruler and... Oh, yeah. She is an architect. All right. Literally an architect. Her parents were skilled island architects and taught her how to weave psychic will into structure. Carmelina has since become a genius architect and will soon achieve the perfect island. Hmm. Oh my god, look at her earrings. Also, yeah, the dog has cheetah print. I like how her dress is like a rigid geometric pattern, but her body shape is like an S-curve. I mean, like, what are, what is... Hold on, there's, there's an architectural... It's called a French curve, right? Right? Yeah. The... These guys... I see that a lot in just like the boop boop, like the, the S curve of her body. Man.
I do appreciate that, like, a lot of the dialogue at the beginning of the game is spent reinforcing the setting. They're all talking about the island, they're all talking about what just happened, which helps, I think, to kind of drill in uh, the maybe complicated nature of the, of the setting and the surreal nature of what's going on. Uh, hang out. Look at this background, though. God. Like, the mixed media aspect of this game is kind of wild, too. Streaming my dong. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Thank you, thank you. All the UBCs be straight JoJo posing. Man. Alright, 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 alright. I'm kind of in love with this game. Uh, I'm definitely going to play it when it comes out. But I think it's time to move on a little bit. Um, I'll be coming back to demos in a minute, but first, here's 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 the thing. Uh, my my masterful brain sees fit to both combine an exploration of exciting new games with payola time. So I'm gonna play Call of Duty Mobile for the next couple of hours. You're gonna keep you have to keep watching though, because I'm gonna give away some old stuff after that. I have. I have shoes, literal shoes I'll be giving away. So if you want a chance, you gotta you gotta hang around. And this is how I this is how I uh, I manipulate the audience. You're all you're all dancing to my tune. Yeah, if you want you want that jar of toenails I've been saving up, you gotta you gotta stick around, so. Um, yeah, COD Mobile for a couple of hours. And then I got like I said, shoes. I got some other like older video games, some like headsets and stuff I wanna get rid of, so. Yeah, you can smell my feet. That's the closest you'll ever get. My feet have been in both of these, both pairs. Also, you have to be a men's, a, a men's US 10 and a half to 11, um, so hopefully. No, you're not getting my hentai wall scrolls. Those are staying up in the, in the bedroom. Uh, okay, so I'll be back in just a second. I'm gonna use the restroom, get a quick snack, be back um, uh, answering the call of duty. So uh, see you guys in just a second. It doesn't walk out.